And I, I'll give a good example. There's a woman, Mary Croft, and she's written a book also that you can read online. And she tells this interesting story about, um, and I always like to tell this story because I think it really hits home. She tells this story about a man, a man and a wife. They have five children. The last child was born at home, and so they did not get a birth certificate for this child. Well, one day the man's in the store with his five children, and he starts yelling at one of the children or something like that. A woman overhears this. She decides to call the police and, and accuse of child abuse. The police show up at his house, and they take all five of his children away. The next day they come back with the youngest child, and they say, this one is not ours. They could not find that child in the system. Therefore, they had no jurisdiction over that child. Therefore, they returned that child back to the natural-born parents. The rest they kept. That's what we need to break out of. Now. Like, right now. No longer. Because I don't know what they've got planned and how far they want to push this. But they, you know... It seems to me they're they're getting ready to go all the way to the end. I, you know, I'm talking microchip, all that, where they want full control. They see themselves in that position as you are chattel. I mean, we are essentially chattel in their eyes, and if we do not stand up and assert our rights, then we will remain as chattel, and we will get everything that we deserve for being lazy-minded, lazy minded, lazy acting. Absolutely. I mean, this is the path that they were on. There were two versions of this. From the start, there is what I like to call the iron gloved hegemony of Marxism, which would be represented in people, names that everyone can recognize mm-hmm. uh, Chairman Mao, Joseph Stalin, mm-hmm. Adolf Hitler. Mm-hmm. I mean, all of these people functioned under the same structure of government, and their idea is well, we're not really going to try to trick you. We're just going to give you a choice, and if you don't like it, we'll kill you. Mm-hmm. And the the other Marxists, the Fabian Marxists, who lived in Europe and mostly the United Kingdom, into Africa uh, and other places, these people decided, well, it's too costly. Mm-hmm. It will, we will expend too many resources killing the people that we want to control. Mm-hmm. So they decided that we're going to be the cloak and dagger guys and use lawyers and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. But what most most people must understand is that the Fabians were the ones that stuck around, and the Fabians are the ones that are in power now. But the Fabians reserve the right to kill you, mm-hmm. and and they know that in the end game they may have to come to that, and they're fully prepared to do so. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's the mindset. I mean, you have to look at it. They go, okay, we want to weasel our way in enough to get political control, and then we'll establish a police state. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you look around the world, I mean, what country doesn't exist? I don't even care if you don't have a government and you have some warlord who's running your fiefdom that you live on. Mm-hmm. It's still a police state. Mm-hmm. There's guys with authorities and guns who will kill you, and they're in favor of whoever's in power, and they aren't in favor of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and that's what you have to you have to look at this, and people need to understand that 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 is what they're fighting, and the you know the end game. Uh, we can look at political documents here in America, and we can look over in Europe, uh, look at the new health care bill. It mandates directly in there to subsidize the microchip yep. companies and recommends and demands that all humans enrollment into this socialist medical care yep. will be injected yep. with a microchip. Yep. Yep. I don't know why anybody's Whether not like talking not. about that. Yep. That's that's a huge one, and I'm not hearing people talk about it. I've I've been you know I've been sort of dropping some seeds here and there, saying, hey, excuse me, it's right in the bill, an implantable chip, you know, under under the skin if you're part of this healthcare plan. So, um, okay, to sort well, of, well, go on, yeah. It it goes further than that because I mean, uh, I am a very busy human being simply because I take the time to read and educate myself and educate others, but also at the same time. I spend my free time not reading the literature that I would like to read. I read thousands of pages of legalese documents that come out of countries, and there are multiples. The microchip comes in through the health care bill. The stimulus package uh, through the back door brought it to the smart grid. The smart grid constructed in there is the entire grid to read and track you. Mm-hmm. And then through stimulus bill number two came the installation of the space-based 
satellite tracking systems as a backup. Mm -hmm. So this is a tiered effect. They're bringing it, and they're bringing all of the pieces to make it work in separate little bills. Mm -hmm. They compartmentalize it into different locations. Mm -hmm. Now, and people really need, yeah. Well, I was going to say, okay, you just said bills. Now, it, you know, this is this is the the critical element of the whole personal sovereignty movement because, as I see it, it's you know, it's time for us all to extricate ourselves from the system, and so that we no longer are um, subjected to all these bills. We're not out there protesting to our representatives who are clearly out there to sell us out have been from day one and still are. So protesting and asking them to do the right thing and do the nice thing for the people, I'm done with that. That's not going to get us anywhere. But if we behave as sovereign citizens, or not citizens, maybe wrong word, sovereign souls, sentient souls, and we unplug and we quit feeding this beast, this war machine that we have fed to enslave ourselves, enslave our children, and there are people doing this, you are one of them, and there is a growing number of people that are having amazing success. It's not easy, but it's not impossible, and there are people unplugging. They are no longer paying the income tax. They are no longer supporting this beast, and when enough of us do this, the ideal is it will collapse on itself. If we don't do this, we are all microchipped and we are all sla enslaved or we are murdered. I will be murdered before I will be microchipped. I know that because that's what my, my religion teaches me. I am not allowed to be enslaved. I should face death before being enslaved. So that's the way I will go on that. But before I have to go to that extreme, I certainly will try this approach because people are having success with this. And like I said, it's not an easy road, but people are breaking through, people like you. There are a lot of other people, Rob Menard, and, and you know, I know you and I have talked a little bit about that. Up in Canada, there are aspects to which, you know, you can try, you know, essentially get yourself out of this legal, this legal game. Um, but, you know, it is tricky. I know, like, um, little examples of if you show up in court, um, you, I know you were saying, like, you know, you, you have to argue the jurisdiction. Because if you, if you walk into court and, the, and you do not declare yourself or assert your own rights so that you fall under common law, they've got you. you you're toast. Forget it. If you show up with an attorney, you're toast. It's all over. Because the attorney is part of their game. And you've just subjected yourself to their game. Instead of standing above their game and realizing, you guys, this is a game, and it's a game for a, a wrong reason, and I'm not going to play it, and you're not going to subject me to it. Like a small example is when a police officer says, do you understand? Well, if you answer that and say yes, now you've just ad admitted to him, essentially, I'm standing under you. Now you are my boss. The government is now my boss. Yeah, and... and you know, there's all these little tricks that people are learning and, 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 and sharing with each other, thankfully, um, so that we can break out of this. Um, I don't know, I'm just sort of going off on a tirade here because I just feel that this is like just like one of the most important things for all of mankind to shift their focus onto right now. And um, I, I know that there are different there are different people trying different approaches as to how to ex extricate themselves from the system, unplug from the war this war machine I call it the war machine. Um, so I know I spoke with you about like there's this um, there's this new sovereign church in Christ they're called, and I was listening to a like a three hour radio program with them, and I'm going to tell you they were very knowledgeable about the legal aspects of all this, and so they're. They are um, uh, suggesting to people that because w when they wrote this, um, when they did the Federal Reserve Act, because it was such a treasonous act, and treason is punishable by death, that they also wrote in the remedy, which meant that there was a way out for us. They just didn't publicize it for us. And so they're suggesting that this accepted for value approach is the legal remedy, which means, okay, you no longer have to be um, a, like a debt slave 
and apparently they've created this prepaid account uh, for you. So you, all you have to do is whenever you get a bill, whether it's your mortgage, your car bill, um, one guy said even the Budweiser truck, you get a bill from the Budweiser truck, all you have to do is write a certain little bit of verbiage on this bill, send it into, um, I believe it's the criminal investigation department, and then they, they send it to the IRS. The IRS pays the bill for you. Because when you were born, they issued this birth certificate. You were born into bondage. They put a price on you. They created this prepaid account. And you are allowed to write off your daily expenses, your living expenses against this account. They never bother to tell you this because then they get double money. Now, here's what I'm saying is I'm seeing a whole other trick involved in this.